wasn't here for half of it. <laughs> yeah, I know. But like I said, let's just all pretend to like each other for one, for like five minutes. I mean, we're trying to get this under a half hour. Yes. It's not going to happen, is it? But it's good to have goals. It is good to have goals. Um. Oh, yeah, I hit record. Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, the, the Guido Goes Off, our um, Fastlane uh, 2018 review. I am joined by Corey. You, you might all remember him from the last one. Hello. I am also joined by John. Hey, John. Hey. And um, these two are going to be fighting it out later, as you can see by their T-shirts. <laughs> um, but more on that later, as it was that um, sets up the main event. Let me scroll... Uh, through my timeline, uh, skipping the guy who decided to hate me because of my hairline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It must be nice not to have stress in your life. I, I just... Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I knew what that felt like. Me too. It's a whole working for a living thing. Yeah, yeah. I know. It okay. is. Let's see. Oh, wait, wait. Why don't I just actually go through my own tweets? I mean, I appreciate everybody who likes and retweets um, things I, I put out there because... Yeah, but that's what I do. You yeah. know, I say things. I pray for a reaction. When I get it, I'm happy. <laughs> okay. Well, there's the thing I said about North will eat you. Yeah. All righty. Um, so starting off with the kickoff show, uh, we had the team of Brazongo and Ty Dillinger. Yes, folks. Dillinger still works here. Yes. Uh, versus the team of Sheldon Benjamin, Chad Gable. And Captain Red Bull and Cocaine. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, Rojo Raleigh. <laughs> Mojo Raleigh. Um, and his Air music still sucks. And he officially has not made me hate the flag of Maryland. And I'm a Ravens fan. You made me hate the flag of Maryland. Ooh. Thank you, Mojo Raleigh. Thank you so bloody much. <laughs> why, don't you, why, don't you, why don't you and your um, backstabbing buddy Gronk go party some more? Yeah. Um, so, um... You know, it's interesting, you know, as you know, Ty Dillinger is a perfect 10, and I actually believe this is his 10th televised match this year. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I forgot he was on the roster, too. Um, I'm going with Brazongo, and uh, it happened. It happened. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, not a bad match. No, it wasn't. Not a good or great match. Um, you know, probably something that could go longer in showcasing the physicality you know, of Benjamin Gable and, you know, featuring Brazongo a bit more. But when it's on the pre-show and you're, you've only got 15 minutes to the... Because apparently, apparently SmackDown found out that the Cruiserweights were busy. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, and, uh, you're, uh, Dillinger, uh, winning with that, um, like a different, like a different knee strike. Uh-huh. Like, that grounding rotating knee strike. Um, as opposed to the tiebreaker. Uh, and so your winners, uh, Dillinger and Brazongo, thoughts? Um, you know, uh, it, it was it was your standard average pre-show match. What's yeah. the appetite, you know? Yeah. Not not great, but... Gets in the mood. Yeah. <laughs> mood to bitch about stuff. But yeah, yeah. Just gets you in the mood for something, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and so let's move on to the main body of the card. Um, of course, Rusev looking to play spoiler Yeah. Um, and Nakamura, Nakamura looking to uh, you need, need somebody. And once again, again face. Happy on. Rusev Day. Yes, of course. Happy Rusev Day to everyone. I just look like I'm dressed for Rusev Day, don't I? <laughs> you do. Have you got a machka? I do not have a machka. Line at number one. I mean, I mean, you know, somebody, somebody's trying to pick a fight. But, <laughs> yeah. You know, I guess the one they don't want to make the trip to die. You know? Right. <laughs> or, or at the very least, um, suffer pain, agony, and mild to moderate discomfort. Yeah. <laughs> Orange Crush. <laughs> I mean, Rusev Crush. <laughs> <laughs> Line of number one. No, this actually was a really good match. It was. Um, but I'm not gonna lie. Yes, just yeah. Nakamura won. Of course, he needed to win. He needed some momentum going into WrestleMania. I mean, he does. It was like the man won the Royal Rumble and he like disappeared off the face yeah. of the earth for six weeks. He done nothing it, with him. Exactly. You know, except for showing up. 
I will beat you at I said we're occasionally talking with AJ Styles saying I will beat you at WrestleMania. At WrestleMania? I don't know how talk. Yeah. I will beat you at WrestleMania. You know, and <laughs> oh, that that a Mora day. <laughs> yes. Um <laughs> and, and don't get me wrong, it was I mean it was a good solid match. It was. But it was it's what you expect from, you know, two professionals. I mean, it, it, it sucks that, you know, Rusev is getting no push whatsoever, despite the popularity of right. Rusev Day. It, so, it was Nakamura Day. It was not going to be indeed Nakamura Day. Not Rusev yeah. Day. Yes, and the only presents that Rusev received were a Kinshasa to the back of the head and then one to the face. Uh-huh. Uh, so, your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Did Aiden English get involved? Yeah, he did not. No, he didn't. He, he knew better. Did he just yeah. hold his throat the whole time during Well, he did sing, so I'm guessing his throat was okay. Yeah. He, he had some tea. <laughs> yes, he did. He, he had a nice cup of tea. Nice. You know, maybe some honey, some lemon. You know, like, yeah. You know. That's good for the throat. It does do well for the throat. Maybe I should have some tea with, with honey and lemon. Or just some beer. Maybe we all should. No, I, yeah. I like your suggestion. <laughs> Just have a beer. <laughs> just have a, just a, yeah. They they make beer with honey in it. <laughs> they do. Yeah. And you can squeeze a little lemon into it. Yeah, yeah. Especially especially, you know, like if it's a corona. Oh, like, no, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> oh yeah. A corona get yes. <laughs> Whenever booking is horrible, a corona gets its line. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, yeah. speaking of horrible booking, um, Okay, Bobby Roode versus Randy Orton for the United States Championship. Yeah. Randy Orton is now a Grand Slam champion. Yes, he is. Why? Hell yeah. Something went terribly wrong. Yeah, so of course something went terribly wrong. Road Dog still has a job. Yeah. That's what went terribly wrong. Um, You know, I understand they're trying to make surprises in that, but... Literally. Okay, you're trying to establish Bobby Roode the main roster. Uh -huh. And how you establish him on the main roster is... Take away his U.S. title. And, and, and you know... Give it to Randy Orton. No, don't get me wrong. Okay, these are two great guys with, they with are. great, you know, great wrestling acumen, great physical skill. I mean, I've said this more often than I think I've said any, about anything in professional wrestling. Randy Orton was blessed with every physical talent that could be bestowed upon a human being. Oh, yeah. But yet his career is stained with the fact that he just expects titles to be handed to him. Mm-hmm. And it just seems like this is the case. I mean, especially um, in a situation. So, especially, basically, we're going to get probably, um, as you know, Rude still owed a um, rematch. Of, yes. Oh, yeah. Orton won with, of course, an RKO out of nowhere. Surprise. Shocker. <laughs> what a cliffhanger. Oh, yeah. Um, and then after that, um, Captain, and then after that, the modern day Maha Get Off My TV <laughs> yeah. shows up and, uh, gets his, uh, gets his pay-per-view bonus check for taking a glorious DDT. Yes. And then Orton took a glorious DDT. And he came out looking triumphant, but, you know, he's yeah, 15 pounds lighter now. Yeah, he How long did he hold the title? Like a, a couple months? Or? Uh, let's see. He Well, he won the U.S. Championship Tournament, I think it was just before the Rumble. Yeah. So, not even, maybe a month. Yep. And, and that's sad, because I know we're all expecting big things from Bobby Roode. We know no big Bobby Roode is capable of big things. Yes, he is. But, you know, adding him to the pile of Randy Orton's undeserved wins is... Yeah. You know. It, it, just, it just shows you where Bob, Bobby Roode stands. Unfortunately. Yeah. Under Triple H's boys. Yeah. This is where it stands. Yeah. Um, or Road Dogs boys apparently, because <laughs> yeah, but but more uh more about the um why more about um SmackDown doing a doggy style uh later on, but <laughs> and now now of course Randy Orton is now 
uh, uh, joins the uh, group of Grand Slam champions. Yes. Um, yes. As he has won the world title, the U.S. title, the the uh, Intercontinental title, and the tag team title. And so now, uh, let's see, move on. Oh, oh and of course, there, I, at least three times they're, they're promoting this the angle between, um, the, the, the raw angle between um, Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle versus um, the game and the game yeah. and the witch. Yeah. I thought this was a SmackDown pay per view. Yeah, I, that's what I thought too. But they're promoting a Raw angle. Yeah. So now you see how SmackDown ranks in the grander scheme of things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's ranking below NXT now. In the, the yeah, I know. Scheme of things. Okay, so then, um, moving on uh, to a women's tag match. We actually got two women's matches. Yes, we did. Didn't get great women's fit, didn't get great finishes, but we did get two <laughs> women's matches. Um, it was uh, Becky Lynch and Naomi versus Natalia and Carmella. Um, Naomi was... Naomi was, was okay. Uh, for, for those of you who are wondering why I'm not complaining about anything about Naomi, I can't. Um, if you refer yeah. to um, John Ritland's uh, Royal Rumble challenge, I drew Naomi in the Women's Royal Rumble, and so therefore I cannot say anything negative about Naomi f until SummerSlam. She was subpar as usual. So these guys, but these guys can. <laughs> I That's just not... said it. Okay, all right. <laughs> so... Did she? Did she do her jumping butt? Thing to the face. Yes. yes. Yes, she did. She did. That move that is passable. Oscar does that too now, apparently. She does it with style. She doesn't just jump up in the air. That's right. The the uh, the hip attack is a very popular move in Japanese women's wrestling. Yeah. Very popular. You play enough Street Fighter to know that Rainbow <laughs> Armika likes it a lot too. And as you know, she is a Japanese wrestler. Yes. Okay, we're only 12 minutes and 50 seconds. All right, let's keep this momentum going. Um, and, and, of course, the, and then you have Carmella get the pin over Becky Lynch. Yeah. <coughs> just a straight-up super kick. No. Yeah, just, just straight, ordinary, rather than super kick, which, like, everybody does. Yeah. And I'm supposed to believe, uh, uh, and I'm supposed to believe a super kick from someone who... Still doesn't look like she ate as many pancakes as it <laughs> looks like she did working with the New Day. Yeah. I was supposed to believe that is supposed to put down Becky Lynch. Yeah. Shows you where Becky Lynch. Oh, we know where Becky Lynch ranks. ranks because, because remember, Dunn hates yeah. her accent. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. Yeah, he, that's, and that's, that's what's going on. He hates her accent. No, we all know what he really hates. The fact that he, she said no. Yes. That's right. Because as we all know, if it wasn't for Kevin Dunn's position in WWE, uh, he would sleep alone. That's the only way women win championships. See, this is what this is why that, you know, I I understand the Me Too movement. This is why it needs to make its way to professional wrestling. Yes. So that you can get rid of rid of this. Yeah, I know he thinks he's the face of WWE. Meanwhile, meanwhile he's actually the cancerous boil on its backside. Uh-huh. And there's a neighboring boil on on the backside. That's Road Dog. And then yeah. there's a boil next to that. And that's Michael Hayes. And then there's a boil next to that. And that is Vince's senility. <laughs> yeah. Because for some ungodly reason, he thinks Elvarai Zone should come back to WWE. Yeah. Is he deaf? He must be. Clearly, because. You know, that, you know, that freaking cancerous pile of human excrement has done nothing but demean the WWE since the day he left. Yep. And beat Paige. But, it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. So no sticker for Becky today, tonight, no. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Becky Lynch gets no sticker for losing. Becky Lynch needs to go to Raw. She does. No, I'm sorry. You've got you've got Oscar on the SmackDown, which we'll get to. But let's let's we all know you all watch the results. This yeah. show. You know the results. We got Oscar coming to SmackDown. 
Someone needs to go to Raw. And I, I honestly, Becky needs to go to Raw because she has been, she is, she is wasted. She, she is beyond wasted. She might as well just go. She might as well just either go back to NXT or like be a valet of the uh, cruiserweight division. <laughs> she get over better. Out. <laughs> yes, out. <laughs> they would treat her better. Yeah, seriously. I, you know, don't, I don't know why yeah. Becky's getting dog, but Becky's getting dog, yeah. and it's poor shit, and it's and it's undeserving. Oh, yeah, it is. You're talking about someone who works great with fans. It's just, honestly, a pleasure and a joy to yep. be around. And she ends up being the jobber in the yeah. women's division. As opposed to as opposed to uh, Big Cass's ex. Yeah. But but Naomi's great. <laughs> Let's look at this Naomi's here. I completely forgot to mention it. All this time, like, Natalia, Natalia was in the back. Yeah. She well, was? I like Natalia. Yes, Natalia was there, believe it or not. I actually <laughs> like Natalia. Oh, I do, too. And I did I did make a comment about her cat. You know, comparing, comparing, you know, talking about how Two Paws has an Instagram followers. But North will eat you. Yes. <laughs> Who are you going to pay attention to? The cat that's loved and pampered or the cat that will eat you? The cat that will eat you. The cat that will eat you, yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's why, it's why I feed her, so I make sure I live through the night. <laughs> but I hate to say this, two paws probably he's better than the three of us. <laughs> he's right. Yeah, he <laughs> is. He's right. <laughs> we work. We work for a living. Um. So anyway, um. Yeah. So and, and a lot of people uh, kind of shared my uh, uh, thoughts on that. What the fuck was that? So yeah. yeah. But yeah, okay, so next was the uh, Usos defending the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships against the New Day. Here we were, we were expecting, here we were, we were expecting a great and wonderful match. As we know, these uh -huh. two can put on clinics, master classes yes. in tag team wrestling. And the Bludgeon Brothers came out and ruined everything. Yes. So that went to a new contest, and... Oh, yeah, this is about that time. Um, yeah. <laughs> Check my Twitter if you want some fun. Yeah. Anyway, um, so, yeah, so, good one. so of course, no contest as it went to, as the Bludgeon Brothers interfered, beat the crap out of everybody. Yeah. Shao Khan's hammers were used multiple times. <laughs> Bells were wrong. Yes. <laughs> Stretcher, stretchers were brought out. Yep. And we're going to get a multi-man match for the SmackDown Live Tag Team titles, which will probably be won by the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah. I mean, it's good to have something different, but we need something different. Yes. It's not, honestly. But why the Bludgeon Brothers? Well, why not? Oh, and then they smashed the pancakes, too. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, um, then, the next match, uh, Ruby Riot looking to knock uh, Charlotte off her pedestal. Uh, Charlotte was defending the SmackDown Women's Championship. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, Riot had a, did a very good job. She did. I mean, of course, she probably wasn't going to win because, as you know, it's all for you, Charlotte. It's all for you. Yep. WWE motto. Yep. WWE motto. It's all for Charlotte. It's all for her. Yeah. Um, so, and then, of course, you know, the, the, um, you know, that's how you know, Becky and Naomi, Naomi came in, were complaining about stuff, and then that gave them the, per the, right, the rest of the Riot Squad, okay, actually gave Sarah Logan the perfect yes. opportunity to, uh, whoop up, to whoop up on her, on, uh, I don't think, Liv, I don't think Liv Morgan knew where she was at. <laughs> Why is she there?! I know, I got a lot of people that like Liv Morgan. You like Liv Morgan? You're welcome to it. I'm sorry. I think she's useless. Yes. She had she she brings nothing to the Riot Squad. She was an afterthought on NXT. Yep. Why is she there? Two words, Kevin Dunn. <laughs> let, 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 but now let's let's think about her judgment, of course. Yeah. She is Ezra Morty's ex-girlfriend. Yes. 
And, and then he dumped her. Yep. And she worked for him at Hooters. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with Hooters. They That's do right. have great wings. They do. Speaking of wings, we need to go to um, Native uh, Wings and the Grill thing here in town. Yeah, I've been told by several of their employees I need to go. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, we'll get to that oh, off they, camera. The, the we'll get drama, to that off camera. The draw of business or like it's good there? The food is good. We'll, uh, off camera, we'll talk about we, this. We've got a goal. 30 uh, minutes. Fast lane. Yeah. And we're, we're, yeah, we got nine minutes left. No so. talking about wings anymore. Sorry. No, yeah. Another person. It's yeah. Much, we we can do an after sh after show show <laughs> where we talk about wings to our heart's content, but we gotta hurry. Okay, uh, movie. Okay, so Charlotte defeats Ruby Riot with the god awful figure eight. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The pressure of what you know one of the points of pressure, especially main points of pressure. Yes, this is me and all that, but the lower back is also a target of the figure four yeah. leg lock. By bridging, you take that pressure off. Yeah. Sense, logic, reason. Where but are again, these? Where are these? But again, what's WWE's motto? It's all for you, Charlotte. It's all for yes. you. Okay, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> and then after the match, after her celebrating her title win, well, Charlotte wasn't ready for what came next. Yeah. But then again, no one is. Oscar mm -hmm. came out and officially challenged Charlotte at yeah. WrestleMania um, for the Char SmackDown Women's title. Charlotte had two words. Repeating over and over in her mind. Oh shit! 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 Yeah. So I mean, and everybody knew that was coming. I mean, yeah, yeah. But and but I love how I love how um Sam Roberts was trying to say it was the thing that nobody saw coming. You know, it was a foregone conclusion that she was going to challenge Alexa Bliss. Okay, if you ever listen to any of the promos that Oscar cut. After the Royal Rumble, until now, did she ever say Raw or Alexa Bliss? The no, answer is no. She said, I will beat the champion at WrestleMania. She did not say Alexa Bliss. She never said the Raw champion. Yes. So everybody knew this was coming. Uh-huh. Because we've, we've, um, you know, because we got to, we got to finish up this feud between um, Alexa Bliss and the ir uh, unmovable object. I mean, irresistible force. <laughs> Whew. That was yeah. close. I, I almost... That was. That was close. I was almost body shaming there for a second. Um, but, yeah, so we pretty much know all these are, these are given things and foregone conclusions. Yeah. We, we knew this was happening. Okay, then up next was the six-pack challenge. Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, John Cena, and AJ Styles for the, the WWE. The phenomenal AJ Styles. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't hit me for it. Yeah. <laughs> the guy the AJ Styles swear. Right. He, he, he sometimes messes up that. You know, it's a phenomenal AJ. You know, so hey, when you get excited, you get you get excited. You may make mistakes. It's understandable. I apologize. You know. I keep, I, you know, but I, I will stay on topic. That was a phenomenal AJ Styles. So like a tribe called Quest, you say the whole thing. <laughs> That's right. <coughs> <coughs> the phen and the phenomenal AJ Styles, the six pack challenge for the WWE Championship winner, guaranteed, shot at fast lane um, against Shinsuke Nakamura because, well, Shinsuke won the Royal Rumble and he wanted it to be AJ yep. Styles. The fans wanted it to be AJ yes. Styles. The world wanted it to be AJ Styles. And it was AJ Styles. Yes. <laughs> um, now, don't get me. Um, but um, but prior to that, um, yeah, basically Ziggler and uh, Corbin take each other out. You know. Oh, of course, the AA spree by yeah. John Cena. Open up the match. You get an AA. You get an AA. Yep. You get everybody gets an AA. And a few minutes later, it's hashtag beat up John Cena. Yeah. Does my hey. That is in my calendar for things to do. Here, hold on. I'll prove it. Yeah. I'll prove it right here. Let's see here. Okay, April 16th, um, 10 a.m., beat up John Cena. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, June 3rd, 12 noon, beat up John Cena. 
Um, July 9th. No, wait, hold on. Okay, July 8th, brunch. Beat up John Cena. Um, family gathering. Family beats up John Cena. Ooh, cocktails. Ooh. While beating up John Cena. <laughs> nice. And then after that, beer pong. <laughs> Hey, do you think we can squeeze in a little beating up John Cena? I, I think that's light. I think it's light on the schedule. Well, right just right. make it quick because beer pong is almost as important. Almost as important. <laughs> it's beer pong, beating up John Cena. Yes. Nachos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like beating up John Cena, but I love nachos. Yes. We all know that. Um, How about eating nachos while beating up John Cena? <sighs> Okay, you need one hand to hold the plate. I, I can't. It, it, Man. You know, if I had an extra set of hand, arms, which I've bemoaned for, like, my entire life, that I need another <laughs> another set of arms, you know, because so I can walk down the streets, and mommy going, oh, dear God, and kids telling, asking their mommies to hide them from me. You know, <laughs> I, you know as, as if this face wasn't enough. You don't want to drop a nacho if you're beating up John Cena. Right? Exactly. Right. You see, there, see, there's a risk of wasting perfectly good nachos, and as you know, I will not waste perfectly good nachos. That's right. Or a jalapeno might hit the floor. I like those jalapenos. Oh yeah, I like them good. Um. Okay. So then, um, we should mention that uh, Shane McMahon was at ringside. Yes. Which clues you into? He's gonna fuck everything. Absolutely. And fuck everything he did. Just like a McMahon. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you know, she was jaw jacking with Sami Zayn. Zayn got out of the way. Kevin Owens, you know, kicked him in that in that um stuck out in that dimple in that dimple <laughs> chin he's got. And then Kevin Kevin Owens goes to pin Sami Zayn. Shane, Shane, pulls Shane, pulls, Shane pulls the ref out of the ring. Then Sami Zayn goes for the pin. Shane pulls Zayn out. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then, of course, the AA to AJ Styles on the English announce table. Yep. Off of the German announce table. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in history, the Spanish announce table survived a pay-per-view! Woo! <laughs> Okay, so then, then you had the obligatory flurry of fit where he finishes. Um, Owens went was about to give Cena the pop up power bomb. Um, well, Cena, he actually gave Cena the pop. He gave Cena the pop up power bomb. Then AJ out of freaking nowhere, it lasted Shafford for the all forearm. Yes. One, two, three. Your winner of the six pack challenge, still WWE um, champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. And so it is set, AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. I'm sorry, the phenomenal AJ Styles yes. versus the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura for the title known as the WWE Championship. <laughs> and I hope that they have some, like, kick-ass entrances for WrestleMania too. Like, they better, like, instead of just doing their normal entrances, they better, like, go over the top. Well, you, you also have to understand that these two have to top their match from Russell Kingdom 10. Yes, they do. <coughs> Best of luck, because that was a work of art! Yes. I mean, if, it, if it's... I mean, if, if, if it's, like, on par with that, I'll be a happy man. But knowing these two, good enough isn't good enough. And right. they're going to go for something bigger. Yep. They're going all out. You mean they're not going all in? <laughs> oh, wait, that's in May in Chicago. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to see if I need to clear my schedule. I might be all in. <laughs> Ooh. But enough about the dirty messages from, from Moscow on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. It's all clean and 
spiffy. We just talked about hair cut, hair dye. <laughs> I said I need hair first to use hair dye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got this. Oh, shoot. And, and we're at the 30 minute mark. But we covered all the matches. Yeah. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Woo, we did it. Oh yeah, we still got final thoughts. Uh, final thoughts, John. What are your thoughts? What were your thoughts on Fastlane 2018? I thought overall it was a great pay per view. You know it. It had there. It had its moments, especially with the uh, Rude Orton match <laughs> and the Reich Flair match. Because if Reich had won, it wouldn't have been fair to Flair. <laughs> 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 Made you roll the reference, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. For those of you playing at home, which you should be playing at home. Yes. I always think that, like, they, if if a title didn't change hands during the pay per view, a lot of people would be like, "Well, why did I watch it?" Because normally, at least one title does change, and that's what happened. So. Yeah. Okay. It's like they, yeah, you know it's like they want to make the pay per view just okay because they they want you to like stick around for WrestleMania because it better damn sure be good. You're expecting a lot of we, WWE, we, you know. We we yeah. we may see Cena and Undertaker, but it's very unlikely. Well, we're not going to remember see... the McMahon still run WWE, so okay. <laughs> and their million monkeys on million yeah. subscribers. Okay, um, my thoughts, it could have been worse. Yes, it could have. I mean, honestly, I was going to, into this thing, it was going to be a lot worse. Um, now, I mean, of course, I don't agree with a lot of booking decisions because I'm allowed to. Because that's my prerogative. I'm allowed to have an opinion. It's mine. You can't take it away from me. But it, on the whole, it's pretty good. It was actually a pretty good pay-per-view. Like I said, you know, it's a lot better than last year's where you had Eva Marie showing all the talent she actually has in the world and waving checkered flags. And remember, this is the person that had to defend professional wrestling against Mia Khalifa. I was going to say, Eva Marie has talent. <laughs> she might have talent, but I don't think you could show those on broadcast TV. Oh, that's true. <laughs> We're going for family friendly. Well, WWE is. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're not. I would love. I would love to go for family friendly, but I really like saying. <laughs> but I really like swearing right. a lot. <laughs> I really do. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Nobody got hurt. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, that is our take on Fastlane 2018. What were your thoughts on this pay-per-view? What were your favorite matches? What's your least favorite matches? Um, what were your highlights? Um, I, think, I think we pretty much covered our least favorite and favorite. Yeah. Right? Um, favorite was six-pack challenge. Yes. Uh, least favorite. I, I for me it was the women's tag match because that made a boatload yeah. of no sense. And then the cameraman ran into Carmella's ass. Yeah. And it was with all the freaking wedgies, man. Yeah. Come on. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. You know. It was nice to see. It was nice to look at it, you know. You know, I, I may I may be a, a wrestling connoisseur, but I'm a guy. Yeah. I'm a human being. Oh, wait, there's another opinion we forgot to get. Boss Lady, who has been sitting here quietly, playing on her phone. Actually, I've been monitoring the time. You boys said you wanted under 30 minutes, so I have been playing time We have failed! No, we covered the pay-per-view in under yes. 30 minutes. This is this is all the good stuff. But, um, Your thoughts? Pay-per-view had its... No, I agree with John. Had its moments. And I am looking forward to WrestleMania. But I would say more, but it's not suitable for... We have. When have we been suitable for family family viewing? Well, basically, the fact that Charlotte spends more time on her knees than Nikki Bella. Whoa, 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 time, 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 time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No one spends more time on her knees than Nikki Bella. 
<laughs> and it was more fun listening to all you guys yelling at the TV. That was the highlight of my night. Especially the Twitter Twitter war. No, that wasn't a Twitter war. See, wars continue until someone wins. Yeah. And as I'm not very good at being on camera or saying things, I'm ending Boss Lady's comments. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> well, there you have it. Yep, yep. <laughs> that was Fast Lane in a nutshell. Yes. Um, you know, we we got to, you know, hang out, we got to have a good time, we got to enjoy some wrestling. Um I got to get some verbal abuse from some short sighted people. But yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you do? Hey, I never said it was for everyone. Just smile and wave. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do I have to use all of my fingers when I wave? <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd appreciate the two finger salute. It would have been just one. <laughs> Oh, wait, wrong finger. Hold on. <laughs> no, 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 Corey, 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 stop it. On this show, it's the three sweets. Yes. Anything, anything else less is a lawsuit. lawsuit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're still, okay, we're still 36 minutes apart. But yeah, we're going to wrap it up there. So, what were your thoughts on Fast Lane 2018? As always, let us know in the comments section. Of course, you know my social media. Uh, you probably know these guys' social media as well. If not, talk to me. Yeah. Especially because yeah. me seriously. Here. Uh, how, how do you how do you not like this face? Hey ladies. Uh, yeah. or, 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 single. Single. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'm sure there's some lonely AJ fans out there. <laughs> <laughs> He ain't bad looking. <laughs> <laughs> and he's housebroken. And he cooks. <laughs> he's out, yeah. He we can go to B-Dubs. <laughs> <laughs> or, or John can cook you a home-cooked meal. Oh, absolutely. Okay, should we, okay, I think we should quit pimping like out games. everyone on this yeah. show. <laughs> I like video games. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm being used here. You probably are, but on that note... <laughs> PlayStation number one, Xbox number two, for two weeks. Now we're just going. Now we're this. just fucking awesome. <laughs> And then, as always, fuck, fuck, uh, fuck Android and Apple cell games. Except Maybe we for, need to end the show on that. Except for Hearthstone. Hearthstone's cool. I think I, I, think, I said that before. I think this is gonna all be edited out. Oh no! 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 This is too good. <laughs> yeah. Besides, I've yet to, I have yet to edit a uh, edit a review. <laughs> Why start now, right? That's right. <laughs> and the street continues. That is that one time that you instantly snapped your fingers and you did change clothes on camera, though. Miracle Television. Yeah. Yes. Miracle Television. Um. So um. Now I know I haven't done a show in two weeks. Actually, I did. I actually have two shows in the can, including I did an International Women's Day special. Of um, um, to get to kind of plug this a little bit, um, it was a show of uh, the top five times, at least in my opinion, when women um, won men's chat titles, or at least titles traditionally held by men. Um, so I will get those up tomorrow. So please look forward to that. Please watch them. Please like them. Please share them. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't. What no time like the for? president. Yes, please. Please join us. Yes. Subscribe to the channel. As you know, we are 28 days from WrestleMania. And we are... We're about 36, 37 subscribers away from 100. The goal is 100 by Mania. Please help us get to this goal. Yes. Share this with everyone you know. Men, women, dogs... Cats. You know you're going to get a present later, don't you? Totally worth it. <laughs> totally worth it. Well, she's purring. But then I guess she purrs right before she bites you, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gave you half this C. Be grateful. <laughs> um, But again, 
Thank you for joining us. Thank you for letting us be a part of your wrestling experience. For John, for Corey, for the boss lady, I am the Guido, and I think we're, we're done, done here. <laughs> okay, let's try that again one more time with feeling. For John, for Corey, for Boss Lady, I am the Guido, and, and I think, think we're, we're done, done here. here. Bye. <laughs> oh, go stop it. Yeah, I guess yeah. I'm right here. <laughs>